First, we look at China's 60-year history of what it calls re-education through labor. For years, China has detained minor criminals, activists, and political dissidents in labor camps known as re-education centers. Opponents of the system say China also used the camps to silence government critics and dissidents. For two years, from 2001 to 2003, Huang Bo spent long hours in forced labor in China. Before, he had worked as a surgeon performing medical operations in Shanghai. But as a detainee, he worked on Christmas lights, toy animals, any job that was demanded. The work was part of his re-education in a Chinese labor camp. His crime was being a follower of the Falun Gong movement, which was banned in the late 1990s. Mr. Wong describes what he believes is the real reason. They want, just want to torture me, and they just want me to give up the Falun Gong. Mr. Huang told VOA that his treatment was often severe. He says labor camp officials used electric shock to punish a prisoner who tried to pass information about abuses at the camp. The system of re-education through labor was set up in the 1950s. The official Xinhua News Agency says the camps started when the Chinese Communist Party was establishing its control of the nation and creating a social order. Recently, the head of the Communist Party Politics and Law Committee reportedly said China will stop using the re-education through labor system this year. Meng Jinzu says the nation's parliament must approve the decision first. If China continues with its plans, observers say it would be a major step in reforming China's judicial system and its human rights image. Some say ending labor camp sentences could be a sign of Chinese leader Xi Jinping's desire to carry out moderate political and legal reforms.